Howdy folks, welcome back. I'm Garrett and this is You've Got This. Today we are going to talk about two types of suspension systems. Um, I would focus on one, uh, but example wise, my new leg has two systems in it. So we're gonna just talk about both together. So the first and simplest is the pin system. Pins are great in terms of ease of connection and you know they work, you can hear them click in. Um, they're just simple. So without this part, um, basically, I mean these rubber rings kind of help maybe give some seal, but nominal at best. Um, without that, this is basically just a pin system. And so, so it's on and you probably can't hear, but it doesn't, it has some give. You can see, hopefully. I can take this and pull. And when you're walking, that's kind of crummy. So it's easy to get it on and off, um, but it's a little sloppy in the grand scheme of things. However, when you add a vacuum system and a pin system, and this is apparently a fairly new development. Um, I mean, maybe not like new, new, but last couple of years new. Um, now I can have a system that has both vacuum, so I get an airtight seal and it pumps air out um, with every step, and I have a pin. So originally, when I came home with this system, uh, my prosthetist, they don't keep these around. They didn't have them in, and uh, FedEx or somebody, who are, the shipment got messed up, so they didn't show up. So they sent me home with one of these, which is a similar deal, it's a vacuum system sill, um, and it's you know it's got these fins, and so it gives you a seal down in your socket, but there's no pin. And because my leg is short, my limb, depending on how I'm sitting or standing or moving or going upstairs, uh, that seal, there's just not a lot of space down here, even though it kind of looks like there is, there's really not, because the seal starts right about here where that kneecap space is the seal breaks all the time for me and so without the pin my leg will come off and with this one it did i was just walking i lifted my leg up to step over something and my leg just came out and i knew i couldn't put it out in front of me so i just kind of tucked it and fell and it hurt with the pin i know that's not going to happen because the pin, it's, it's in there, it's good, it's sealed. Um, so it kind of gives me that redundancy. I have the reliability of the pin and the security and the fit and the kind of tight connection of a vacuum system. Now that said, there's a lot of moving parts, right? So depending on what you're doing, I was originally turned off on these ideas because you know this snags on something, right? You're, you're out of luck. Um, if the pump breaks, you're out of luck. Um, if the valve system up here, something happens to it, you're out of luck. There's a lot of ways a vacuum system can fail. That said, the security is awesome. Uh, this is the most secure I've ever felt in a socket. And it really, really, really makes a big difference. And if I want to, I can always add an old sleeve over the top and get an even better seal um, for activities. So uh, that's nice. That said, another big downside, I change feet a lot, depending on what activities I'm doing. Um, the most common foot that I switch to um, for snowboarding and mountain biking is my Versa foot. And because the pump is built into my primary foot, if I take this foot off, my socket no longer has a pump. So I bought a pump off eBay. Uh, my prosthetist helped me put it on. We checked it and everything. And so now 
For me to switch feet, I also have to disconnect this pump and connect it to uh, this, and the pump is built in to the leg now. So from the standpoint of swapping feet a lot, having a vacuum system complicates things. Um, that said, I really truly have never felt this secure in my socket ever. Um, and when I add an extra old sleeve over this, I feel like it's not going anywhere. Um, and it really, it stinks to add the sleeve and add the extra bulk and weight, um, but oh, the security, knowing your leg's gonna stay on and be there and not shift at all is amazing. Um, so anyways, that's kind of a quick overview of both the pin and vacuum system. Um, I like it, I've been really happy with it. Uh, in uh, the coming weeks, we will talk more about traditional suction systems and some of the other options out there and the pros and cons and how you can make them work better for you. Anyways, that's it for this week. I'm Garrett and you've got this.